A person can claim, okay, yes, I am Jewish, but it won't make him Jewish. Who is a Jewish person and who is not? Until today, since the exile of the tribes of Israel and the kingship that stayed in the Holy Land was, and until today, is the kingship of King David and the tribe of Yehuda, that after them we are being called Yehudim, Jewish. Since that time, the public of Israel, if they want to join us back, they need to convert to Judaism. And also Gentiles from different nations, when they want to join the people of Israel, so they need to convert. A person can claim, okay, yes, I am Jewish, but it won't make him Jewish. A real Jewish conversion must take place in a Jewish courthouse, that the rabbis that are sitting in that courthouse will be real observant about their own way of life and keeping the traditional Judaism based on the rules that the Gemara and the oral Torah by the sages explain to us that that is the way. Now, there are many people who are just searching for spirituality and are willing to connect themselves to Judaism and they're willing to learn the wisdom. And it's also a great thing. But that does not make the person a Jew. All those years that I'm teaching, I don't remember myself recommending a person to convert. I'm not against it. I just think that the desire to convert and the willingness to throw everything that is familiar to him to go and start a new path, a new road in life, it's a very inner thing. Me, myself, I wouldn't push a person to do so. If people are asking me, should I convert or I'm dreaming to convert? So again, I'm warning them that they might face and confront obstacles that won't make their life so easy. So conversion is one thing and learning about Judaism is another. And I think that in most cases, the most blessed and important thing that a person that desires to come close to Judaism is to start with a few years of learning about Judaism. If you have the passion and the desire to be practicing Judaism, so there are certain things that you can do that are not life-changing and they will help you to come closer to Judaism, like learning from books of righteous people, eating kosher food. Like You have many things that a person can do that won't obligate him in 100% to the highway of Orthodox Judaism or like keeping it in a strict and straight way that all his life will have to change from one side to the other. This is exaggerated for the majority of the people of the world that are desiring to come closer to Judaism. So I recommend to start the process with the acceptance that it might take a few years of learning. If those are things that you will find that after a couple of years, three, four, five years, you're still going to desire to be part of a community, to become Jewish with, with your body as well. So then the process of Orthodox conversion is the best way, even though that it, it's to take a big mission upon yourself. But to learn the wisdom and to enjoy the wisdom and the culture of Judaism, this is something that any person in the world um can enjoy. And I recommend it. I think that uh, our religion has many, many treasures to share with the world. The Emuna Project is a nonprofit dedicated to producing faith-based media. To support this work, visit emuna.com.